electricity shortfall in Pakistan has reached 6,500 megawatts, along with the power outages of eight hours in the country and up to 12 hours here in Lahore, despite an announcement from the government to bring down load shedding to three hours a day. Sanaullah operates a hotel in Lahore's main market and says his business is suffering. There's no such schedule of power cuts. Electricity comes and goes every hour. Fuel prices have skyrocketed. We have put UPS inverters in, but the batteries don't charge. Our business is taking hit. According to the Water and Power Development Authority, the demand for electricity peaked at 28,000 megawatt against the available supply of 22,000 megawatt. There is a there is a technical issue. Our energy mix is not very good. First of all, we were used to produce all our energy through hydro sources. Now we are shifting from hydro. Most of our bucket is we are using from solar or coal power plants, which are which are very expensive. So when we are we shifted to coal power plants, the cost to produce that electricity is very high, which are in our present situation our government cannot afford. 30-year-old Muhammad Adil owns a handmade shoe kiosk. We have to have to raise the prices of our shoes, and that's not fair, because we have to pay for the generator's fuel. Our cost for running businesses is going up every day. Now the government is planning to shut down markets in the evening to save energy. I feel I have to shut down my business soon. To battle one of its worst energy crises, the government has announced several measures to bridge the demand supply gap. Apart from shutting down markets early, it has been decided to ban wedding functions after 10 p.m. All public offices and educational institutions will follow a five-day work week to conserve energy. The government is also looking into the possibility of making Friday a mandatory work from home day for government employees and street lights would be operated on alternate days. By these measures, the government hopes to lower energy consumption by 10% and bring some sort of a relief to the people who are already suffering from the ongoing heat wave and power crisis.